Want all the power of the Adobe Creative Cloud without the big price tag? How does free sound? I'm going to show you free and low cost alternatives to the Adobe Creative Cloud today on Framework Digital. Today's video is going to show you how to save a bunch of money. My Adobe Creative Cloud plan cost me over $1,000 a year. For me, it's worth it. But I know not all video creators want or can invest that much in a software package. While Adobe subscription plan makes it affordable at first, over time the plan becomes very expensive. Today, I'm going to show you a number of alternatives to the Adobe Creative Cloud Suite that will not only save you money, but give you just as much production power as your Adobe Suite subscription. My name is Mark Lassoff. Welcome to Framework Digital. I've been teaching coding and digital design for over 20 years. Over the past decade, almost 2 million people have taken my online courses on development and digital design. Before revealing the first of our Adobe alternatives, I'd encourage you to hit that subscribe button. We produce several videos each week helping digital creators produce everything from apps to videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so you're alerted when new videos are released. So let's move to our first Adobe Cloud alternative. This digital product design tool has taken the design market by storm. It's designed for collaboration, but it's still a great design tool if you're working solo. I'm talking about Figma. Figma is a little bit of Photoshop and a little bit of Illustrator, but competes most directly with Adobe XD. Figma is optimized for creating digital interfaces. It's a web-based tool with desktop app-like performance. But because it's web-based, the collaboration tools are really strong. So if you're working with a team, you'll find that Figma is well-optimized for your projects. Most interface designers work with design systems, which provide prototypes for different design elements like buttons or icons. Figma allows designers and design teams to create reusable libraries of components that can be managed and updated, providing a high degree of design consistency. One New York-based design leader told me, Figma is pretty much the standard across major tech companies. Most of Figma is free to use, although there is a charge for some enterprise features. Even these advanced features are free for students and teachers, which is an awesome deal. Next on our list of Adobe alternatives is Pixlr. Pixlr is an impressive web-based photo editor that works well for both noobs and for experienced designers. Pixlr has two editions, with an advanced version with a similar interface to Photoshop and the X edition, a simplified version of the application geared towards new designers. Pixlr makes heavy use of artificial intelligence to avoid some of the repetitive and precise tasks you may be used to doing in Photoshop. Pixlr's AI takes some of the work out of removing backgrounds, for example, and does a good job with most images. In my own tests, there were still times when human intervention was needed to extract images from more complex backgrounds. Pixlr allows use of its foundational features at no cost. An investment as little as five bucks a month will give you access to more advanced features, as well as thousands of overlays, icons, and other assets that can be integrated into your design systems. It seems like free and open source Photoshop alternative GIMP has been available almost as long as Photoshop has. GIMP is a fully featured photo editor ideal for tasks like digital photo retouching and photo enhancement. GIMP runs on all major hardware platforms and uses many of the same conventions and metaphors as Photoshop. While some have complained that the GIMP interface isn't as user friendly as Photoshop, there are numerous tutorials and courses available which should make GIMP easy to learn. GIMP, like Photoshop, is a layer-based tool. It isolates sets of image pixels on different layers so they can be manipulated. GIMP allows you to easily export your work as a native Photoshop file. The exported file retains all of the original image information, like adjustments and layers, so that another designer can take your work in GIMP and continue seamlessly working in Photoshop. Next up on our list of possible Adobe Creative Cloud replacements is the Affinity Suite. Affinity Designer, Affinity Photo, and Affinity Publisher are designed to replace the most prominent tools in the Adobe Creative Cloud. Affinity Designer combines the best of Adobe Illustrator and Adobe XD into a tool that can be used for heavy-duty vector graphic illustration, as well as user interface and user experience design. 
Affinity Photo is a Photoshop replacement that supports not only standard image manipulation tools like layers, blend modes, and typography, but also supports more advanced elements like raw image manipulation and photo stitching. Selection within an Affinity Photo is a breeze with advanced algorithms to help you easily extract image elements. Affinity also lets you export your images into the native Photoshop PSD format. So if others in your workflow are using Adobe tools, you'll have no issues. Affinity Publisher is the print design tool in the Affinity Suite. Publisher has similar functionality to Adobe's popular InDesign package. Affinity Publisher allows you to lay out everything from posters to print ads to full color books. Publisher is optimized with both digital printing workflow and traditional four color offset press workflow. It handles all major file formats and allows you to easily package your output providing advanced merge tools for variable data printing. The Affinity Suite would be a formidable competitor to the Adobe Suite on its own. However, the pricing makes it very appealing. Instead of expensive monthly payments, each app is yours for about 50 bucks. At the time that I'm doing this video, there's actually a 50% off sale, allowing you to get the entire Affinity Suite for less than you pay for a single month of Adobe Creative Cloud. I really hope you're finding these suggestions helpful. Before I get to the rest of my list, I'd like to know, do you use the Adobe Cloud Suite or do you use alternatives in your production process? If you use Creative Cloud, just type the word Adobe in the comments below. If you use some alternatives, let me know what you use. If there's software I haven't mentioned, please suggest it in the comments so I can include it in a future video. Next up, a package for photographers. If you use a raw workflow in your photography, consider trying Raw Therapy instead of Lightroom. This free photo editor has great support for the raw workflow and all of the color adjustment and correction tools you need to create striking photographs. Raw Therapy is open source and is available for both Mac and PC. Written to take advantage of multiple processor threads simultaneously, you'll find that Raw Therapy is as fast as it is powerful. If you do digital illustration or work with vector graphics, you should think about Inkscape. Inkscape is completely free to use and actually has one distinctive advantage over Illustrator. Instead of using a proprietary file format to store your work, Inkscape uses the SVG, Scalable Vector Graphic File Format. Unlike Adobe's .ai file format, SVG files can be displayed natively in most web browsers. And like all vector graphics, they can be displayed at any size without pixelation or quality loss. Inkscape has many of the features of Illustrator and a similar interface and toolbox. This should ease your transition to this free software option. If you're into video, DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic has a free version that's robust enough to work for most creators. The free light version is a full featured editing suite capable of editing up to 4K video at 60 frames per second. Resolve features a highly configurable environment, so you should have no trouble adapting the interface to your preferred workflow. Like most editors, it is timeline based, has loads of effects, color grading tools, and pretty much everything you need to edit your videos. For a one-time fee of 300 bucks, you can upgrade to DaVinci Resolve Studio which gives you access to additional editor features like hardware accelerated rendering and the DaVinci Neural Engine, which has AI powered features that are designed to make the many repetitive tasks of editing faster. The Studio Package also includes a dedicated audio editing tool called Fairlight, which is roughly equivalent to Adobe Audition. Also included is Fusion for 2D and 3D visual effects. While the $300 price tag may seem steep, this is loads of professional editing power for a one-time fee. Last but not least, I'll mention Blender. Blender is a free three-dimensional creation suite that has become so powerful, it's become a standard in industry. Many organizations that can't afford to pay are choosing Blender because of its suite of powerful tools for three-dimensional designers. Blender has all the modeling, sculpting, animation, and rigging tools that a 3D artist needs. The Blender interface is extensible and can be modified to fit your workflow. Blender is the tool behind many commercial games and loads of animation work. Perhaps the greatest proof of Blender's popularity and power comes from the community of Blender users, which is active and friendly to all who want to work in three dimensions. And there you have it. 
my list of Adobe Creative Cloud alternatives that won't break the bank. Did you like my list? If so, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. We come out with new videos that teach skills from coding to digital design each week. Make sure you hit the bell so you won't miss a video. Also, I'd love to hear about any tools that you use in your workflow that might be helpful to other creators watching. Please leave your comment down below. I'm Mark Lassoff for Framework Digital. Please visit our website at frameworktv.com to sign up for free training for digital creators. When you sign up, I'll send you free courses, workshops, and projects to help you develop your professional digital skills. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.